Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? I did not even check what moves this man had. I am truly, truly uh, either very disappointed or going to be very happy with a little bit of the results. But as of right now, man... Bodento has actually proved my point right and showed us that even with this much greatness that they could within, you know, like this time use, they are practically throwing it in our face that they're saying, hey, we don't know anything what we're doing. So let's get into it. We have a character now who has given us his master plan uh, as of why he's actually doing this and why he wants to awaken Jugo uh, at this point in time. And if you didn't catch it, it may, yeah, it's probably because you didn't watch the previews. But yeah, pretty much the reason why he is fighting or doing any of this is because he wants to prove his curse mark is stronger than the original curse mark that he just created his curse mark from. <laughs> why is that the boss's master plan? Like, why is that his, oh man, my final assignment? Beat the curse mark. Check. You know, like, why is that the final checkpoint? Why is it spread the curse around the whole entire world, making, you know, more hybrids of the curse, maybe, that might be able to withstand or outbeat the main one? You know, anything around those lines, but that's where this show is so safe because. None of this stuff, I believe, has happened even in the manga or anything like that. So, for them to step into the realm of making uh, curse marks going around the whole entire world of the Naruto verse and random people having it and being able to cause massive destruction as we can see a curse mark could, like it takes someone with a shotting gun and Sarada's power to knock one out and not even destroy them, but that was just because you knocked off the collar uh, imagine if the collar wasn't the reason why they could use the ability and they could use it just on their own like jugo bada bing boom pop you got a way worse enemy than what you just dealt with so it's interesting that they went with the collars even the collars themselves seem like a very easy back out strategy of like oh well look they broke this so why would they have this anymore it's like because it's been infused in their body for so long and as we see with Jugo his curse mark is trying to take over it wants to be in control so why wouldn't theirs want to do that as well same with Sasuke uh, which was also a part of Orochimaru's curse uh, off of his experiments from Jugo's so it just it just really makes uh, me feel like this anime is using a lot of the tropes that the fandom really wanted to know about or really wanted to see. I mean, they even threw in there as infinite power or like potential or something along those lines. Like they're saying that no matter how you look at it, this is by far one of the strongest like versions of the curse mark. And because of that, he wanted to make something out of like he wanted to make his own out of it and to think that now all of a sudden we're just going to go right past the point of uh of having you know any of this lead into the further end game of the story uh i mean what what's going to happen now they're going to fight this guy Mind you, okay, okay, and this is the other thing that kind of, like, ruined it for me in the sense of how are you going to go against the main, uh, the main curse when you can't even punch strong enough, which, hey, this is my only excuse for him, too. I'll be devil's advocate at the same time. 
the one time he tries to punch somebody in his cursed state, and it's Borinto, he gets stopped by a guy who is completely, like, out of it already. Like, he hasn't even recovered. He's been tricked attacked he's been stabbed by a tranquilizer he's been shot by his reverse element the element that would absolutely you know destroy him if he's hit by it um which he was hit by it once before this attack and he stops it but to be fair he did ask bodento right before do you, would you like to be a part of this experiment which gives me the uh which could give you the information to be like, oh, well, maybe he was holding back so Bodenta would live. He could still do the curse mark test on his body as well. But then, <clears throat> but then at the same time, I can be devil's advocate again because the show has this situational position that he put them all in uh, being, if that's the case, why then make, you know, if, if they can't escape that tent, with the guy who's about to rage out and just start swinging at anything close to him, then they're not going to be able to be capable to test on them. You know what I mean? So that was my kind of two cents on why it just didn't make sense to me. I was like, uh, so you wanted to not kill them to test on them, but you were going to let this big, uh, like the ultimate form destroy them anyway. I don't know. Uh, but Sarada working together with uh, Karen, uh, man, hearing her say that Sakura had saved her life once and now she tell her that my debt is paid off. Um, it feels it feels like there's a lot more to be said about those two. And I really like it because the glasses are a really tall tale sign that it's not from Sakura, you know, or it's from Sasuke. And I like that aspect, but at the same time, it felt like I didn't know... It felt like they were playing that role of like, oh, maybe she could be the mother. Sasuke played, uh, paid way more time with her, so get that in your head. <laughs> um, oh, I don't have any moves in there. Oh my god, let me see what happens. Ah, oh, um, so interesting enough we get to at least see uh what it would be like if they got to teamed up if they got to actually be in a situation where they needed to figure out something on the fly and what it would look like this was it like it was pretty cool seeing her pretty much almost get a, a heads you know like a good move on the cursed monster with just the one shotting gun eye, which is another thing that kind of brings me back to my point of how weak his curse is. It's only lo it's losing to people like you know it's losing to the Sakuras and stuff and the 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 dog that absolutely went in this week and started to like eat part of the freaking curse marker. I don't even know. That man is greedy. <laughs> He's like, oh, I ate all that chakra from them. I'm. I remember when I was eating chakra. Chakra tastes good. So, I think we might have just seen a little bit of him getting a a taste of blood, like an uh, like one of the sharks or what is it, seals? If they get a taste of blood, they like fiend for it or something. Pretty dark stuff. But at the same time, if you just look at the eyes of the girls when they're giving up their chakra, they just look like they're giving their blood away like too much blood or something and just going into that just go to sleep it's it's okay i just need to take a stick take a nap <laughs> um, so yeah the the dog is somehow strong if not maybe on par with sock uh Sarada. and i think that's a brill that's about the best thing that came out of this show because not only is this girl uh she is a water user like we don't have too too many like powerful powerful water users that just go off rip with no water nearby that just can create it um so i think that's a really good character to be building up as of now not to mention that the only reason why the dog really wins this battle is because she um teams up and uses water i like that uh, that callback to it being like 
they're not only is this team of her these girls her teammates this dog is you know just as much her teammate as much as her friends are and stuff like that so if it wasn't for her they if it wasn't for either one of them they both would have died at certain moments and i thought that was a cool uh way just to show how close everybody is in this squad and probably how much more we're going to see um of of that dog in general i mean if they ever have a competition between the kids she has a really high chance of winning <laughs> like doing very well with that much power uh including with her being able to do jutsus on the side so with that being said i will talk to you guys in the next one let me know how you're feeling about borinto in this week's episode and how they went about doing this uh yeah i don't know really what to say on that um we could have had the potential greatest curse mark stuff. Well, we still can, but let's be honest. It feels like they've already backed out of it so hard. To be fair, the two kids are alive, but they broke the collars. Will the curse mark still be in them? Was the collar something that was only containing the curse so it didn't make them go out of control like Juzo? Or was this the only way that they can activate the curse mark in general and even have the dang thing uh, possible? So I'm not sure. I would love to hear you guys' opinion or if you're disappointed with how quickly this is going to end, let me know. But with that being said, I will talk to you in the next one. So peace.